Hello, this is Ashley from CS 2025, day four. Uh, we've been through a lot, everyone's kind of tired, but we gotta keep the energy going because we're at Litbig, and this is? One Kim. One Kim. Hi, One, nice, Hi, to, meet nice to meet you. Hi, uh, so I'm curious, like, what you got over here? Like, you got a bunch of Lego people, and there's a car, yeah. and uh, yeah, like, I'm frankly just, yeah, I'm just confused about what's going on over here. Uh, this is Huadai, which is latest newly released in 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 the world for the first time. Uh, using the four different cameras installed in the car, like front and the back and then both both sides, we actually combined all the images that we got captured from the, the camera and then we stitched it. And then as you see in the in the, in the, in the monitor, that you can see we made it a three D. SVM, which is called Surround View Monitor. So with this 3D SVM, we can actually rotate the images and then we can take a look at all the surrounding, surroundings of the cars. So if there is anything near the car or not, and we can st this is a like, really important technology for, for safe driving. And also <clears throat> the quad Y, sorry, we combine with two more uh, technologies. With one is MOD and the other is 3D recording. So MOD is moving of the de detection. So as you see here, like if the, there is a person coming to the car closely, and as you see, there is a red box here. So if somebody comes near to the car, then it turns to red, and then actually it gives you alarm. So the driver can notice that if there is somebody, then they, he has to be, like it, it's very difficult to, to watch the monitor during you know, the parking, but you have to see it you know, at the back side. But this, this MOD function gives you like a warning sound. So while you're parking, you can actually get the sound warning at, at the same time. So you can figure it out if it's a person or not. And actually this is uh, uh, developed using our AI. So we only, we can distinguish the person and the cars because nowadays we have some kind of LiDAR sensor or ultrasound, uh, ultrasound sensor in the car now. So you can actually detect there is a something around your car. But you never know that with, if it's a car or if it's a person. But this is actually based on the camera so they can distinguish it, the, the object, what it is. So it, which is uh, different from the current technologies. And also, the 3D recording function is while you are driving or when you are parking, then actually we can record. Also, we can record it. So let's uh, take a look at it. So when we record it, we start to record right away, and you can see there is a. Per you know we are we can re we are recording right now, and after we finish recording, and. We can actually find from the video list. Let's check the events, and then you can play back what we just recorded. And also, while we are playing this uh, video, you can also turn around and uh, look at it. Which means, current dash cams you only can see the front and the back side, but with our 3D SVM uh, uh, pod eye, the 3D can capture if you have an accident from the side that means you can also capture the moment with this 360 degrees uh, video that's great so I don't have a dash cam in my car right now but I mean if this technology could go to I don't know export it into like Toyota you know Hyundai all these other big manufacturers I can definitely see um, us getting more comprehensive footage where there's an accident, uh, which would be fantastic yeah. when I need to get a lawyer, yeah. you know, after I get a car accident. Um, so I, I, so this technology is great. Uh, I just wanted to say, is there anyone you're looking in, like during this convention, like are you looking for retailers, distributors? Cause this is a amazing technology that, you know, you could put in any car. Um, yeah, so uh, 
anyone that you're looking for in particular? Yeah, actually, uh, we've met a lot of like customers in the show, luckily. So, um, in the mo mobile uh, mobility industry, actually, everyone can be our customers because we not only software development but also products we are making by ourselves. So, using our technologies, we we've, we've been developed. We we actually make our own boxes, like set boxes, and then the, using the cameras and and then boxes. We also can provide as a product to the market. So, like OEMs or Tier One, which is the uh, car manufacturers, they can adapt our uh, software technologies to their own like in, provide us. Uh, uh, their own systems because ours are actually easily adopted and also for the aftermarket or like a port and dealer installed option markets they also can adopt it after they got the car we can we, we provide like cameras and also the boxes so they can easily adopt it it's easier like just to, you know installing the cameras and then set box and they can run this software so it's, we can actually have all the customers so this is this would be the really good time for us to meet like various customers in the world. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would love to get this installed in my car because there's a lot of drivers in Dallas that don't really know how to drive. So. <laughs> Great. Well, I know it's the end of the day, uh, the day four of CES, but I still hope that you can get somebody to come to your booth and get more exposure. And I know you have a long day ahead of you. So, uh, but. Thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, and thank, thank you so much for your time. For having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us.